Hello all on YouTube. Uh, yeah, uh, I I'm doing a reaction stream, so I thought I'd toss this and since, you know, it looked neat uh, and such. And I, I wanted, you know, it's to go the way to GTA 6, even though I've never played G even GTA 5. I barely played GTA 4. I, I wasn't a big fan of it, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't know, I just felt like they changed the physics enough a bit on it compared to the previous ones. Just the little details they changed. Uh, that made it, made it not as fun to play as the predecessors, combined with, like, maybe they didn't change the car driving physics. It just felt like it after playing Saints Row. And that's the other thing. Saints Row. I played fucking Saints Row the third. Jesus fucking Christ, that blows, there, blows it out of the fucking water. So, uh, yeah. I'm also doing Hell, Has Been Hell Tale, uh, Has Been Hell Tale trailer after this. And, uh, I'm going to do episodes of Hello Boss. See, episode 5 and up. So I know it involves female protagonists. I, I, I've heard things for years, with lots of complaining, but uh, I, I, I saw something uh, that I, well, I was trying to wait this up because people were posting shit, complaining about uh, people being fucking weird about fe female protagonists in these games. Ah, Vice City. Stay alert, we're to... That is uh, not... Okay, hold on, I didn't... I did not stop there for that. I stopped there because I needed to clear my throat. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, yeah, just... Really embracing the Florida. And modern social media added to it. I know they touched about that in 5 and 4 five more so but again i never played five honestly i've been meaning to do the uh, gta games for a good long while i have uh, but you know also i'm playing so many other things that, that are more immediate priority to me and the fact is until i figure out a way of playing a good version of the game the hd versions are not on my list of things to do uh, of uh the you know free uh Vice City and San Andreas are not on my list of things because they, they screwed that one up so much. Uh, but it was just such a fucking pity. I would have loved to have a good, high quality version of the game that, more importantly, could be easily modded so I don't have to, so I don't get any copyright fucking music while I play. The, the trouble of streaming those games is like playing music, listening to uh, radio stations and such is just a major part of getting the feel of playing that game while driving around. So much absurd shit to react to both as someone making videos. And also, it just would feel wrong not to have mu any music and not having that. I can't have copyright music, though, so I have to turn it off. And I, well, I could sub in my own uh, personal, uh, you know, music files that are not going to be a problem. Like OC Remix music that's threaded and everything. Or, when I get a hold of it, uh, Miracle Sounds... Uh, <laughs> discography. That would probably be my present preference for that. Uh, it still would feel weird if I can't have the fucking radio stations. But I, I don't know how to just listen to the. If, I don't know if any way you could just uh, modify. The, there's nobody who's out there who's made a, a ROM hack or anything like that uh, to m make that easier on yeah, streamers. I'm ho really hopeful. I mean, that looks neat and kind of neat. Uh, I was kind of hoping for more substantial stuff, honestly. Uh, given the years of build, build up, I think it would have benefited from it. But that's just me. But ah, I love it. I love that series. I've only ever been San Andreas, but I play what? No, Vice City Stories. I beat Vice City Stories in San Andreas. Vice City Stories is great. San Andreas is great. I, lo I love Vice City too, so I, I am happy to return there. I just, you know, hope it's fun to play. I'm probably not going to do that one anytime soon. But uh, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, it's a, a good game series. I, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, the of uh, four, the, the beginning of the HD series, but five always looks super neat. Uh, especially since it had the online component to mix things up. I know lots of people are upset with that because it felt like uh, they were just not doing anything for six because of it. Sometimes I feel like people are too eager for sequels to series they, they like. So I'm just going to say that out here. I get it. I understand it. But at the same time, uh, if it's a prolific series with lots of games already in it, you can just wait until they're ready to release a good game. If they take forever and it's a bad game, then sure. But I just don't get the... Uh, some of the negative... Uh, Reaction some people have to, oh, it's taking a while for uh, Elder Scrolls 6 or this to come out. Like, okay, I love Elder Scrolls a lot more than I love GTA, but I'm not super upset at taking a while for G. And I, I've only recently played Metroid Prime 1 for free, and I love that those games. Just as long as that you don't pull a fucking Duke Nukem forever and constant. And eventually come out with a game and, you know, stop reinventing the wheel every fucking time. Tech develops even a little bit. But at the same time, I'll get the backlash spinoffs and such have. And like I said, it's... It, 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 it's not really a thing I get personally get, but hey, I'm still excited it's finally happening. Hey, hey it'll be neat to have play at a different kind of road tag for once. Uh, but yeah. Uh, well, that's it for uh, the first of these. 